Good morning, our viewers. It is the sixth day of the month of December, and our morning devotion has a special title. The title says, Too Much Milk and Honey. Too Much Milk and Honey. So, today we're going to see when we get things in plenty, what really happens. We see people once upon a time, one was once poor. But then, at times, God blesses some people with riches. But after the riches, there's some things people begin to practice. So before we start, can we close our eyes for a word of prayer? Our Father, Lord, uh, come and be our teacher today. We're going to see what too much milk and honey does to human beings. Please be our teacher. In your name I pray. Amen. So our scripture reading is extracted from the book of Deuteronomy. The chapter is 31 and the verse is 30. Deuteronomy 31 and the verse is 30. Uh, the verse is 20, I'm sorry. And it says, When I brought them to the land flowing with milk and honey, of which I saw to their fathers, and they have eaten and filled themselves with grown fat. Then they will turn to their gods and serve them, and they will provoke me and break my covenant. They'll provoke me and break my covenant. Our remaining devotion today is trying to find out what really happens when there is plenty of milk and honey. Now, let's not forget I'm still insisting. Our forefather Abraham was promised a promised land, and that was the land of Canaan. But he died without inheriting it. Now we're going to see what happened and what went on, what revolved, and how God managed to fulfill this promise. Now, it is usually no more. Oh, it is somehow very, very common. When people increase riches and gain money, they tend to forget. You see, a family which was once poor, when, when financial uh, situation have increased, they will or they tend to forget or relax or their spiritual level tend to fall and they forget that true God. So, lots of people in our planet, planet Earth, often turn God's blessing into a curse. And in a way, God is in a difficult place because the more he blesses people with a good life, the greater their temptation, people tend to forget God. Now you notice this. In our churches, when people tend to get money, their spiritual level tends to fall down. People tend to relax. Now, in our Adventist faith, when we keep the Sabbath and when we pay our tithe faithfully, these two things tend to increase someone is blessing. Now, the Sabbath keeping tends to train people to discipline their time. And the tithe and offering tends to teach people to discipline their money. But all these tend to have an increase into our blessing. Another aspect that raises people's social status is education and good health. So good health and, and education always lead people to good work and success. So these things tend to become a curse. How is it? You find that God blesses you to use his resources in order for his work to go on, in order to preach the gospel. But you see that once a polite, humble person becomes very arrogant, they tend to segregate themselves 
with the poor. And somebody will always want to find the specific people who are at his economic level. So these two things prone or tend to make people have a curse in front of God. So Moses, when he was going to die, he was warning the children of Israel that when they possessed the land of Canaan, they should not behave in such a way. Still, they were supposed to acknowledge the God who managed to help them receive that success. Now, my brother, you might be there. You know God has blessed you. You could be a doctor. You could be an engineer. You could be, a, a, you could be highly blessed financially. And what we do, we begin despising those in the low class. Now, it could be a husband who is despising the wife simply because he's got the money. God is trying to tell us, let us remember our friends and let us use the blessings, the resources God has given us to glorify his name. May God bless you. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you always give us blessings. But instead of worshiping, we always tend to take these blessings for granted. Father, you're still the ruler and the leader of this world. Let us learn to acknowledge your name and give you the due respect. Honor you with whatever you've given us. In your name I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.